Hey guys! And welcome back! And welcome back! In today's <laughs> video we're gonna talk about two perfumes from the niche brand uh, Haramein. Exactly. Yeah, so... So, they released two new fragrances this year. This year! And uh, I was actually familiar with this brand because I have already reviewed two fragrances that they sent me. But uh, these ones sounded very promising, so mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, I want to check them out. And you guys, this is going to be such an interesting video because Ben joined me in this one just because, um, well, you'll see what he thinks about it. And if you want to find out more about uh, this beautiful, gorgeous looking fragrances, then keep on watching. So the first one is going to be Amber Oud Tobacco Edition. And this is my favorite box. Just look at it. I mean, like, oh, you're doing a fantastic job. <laughs> like, this presentation <laughs> is absolutely mind-blowing. This shape, oh my god, you guys, look at it. It's so pretty. I'll show you the closer look. I hope it will cover our faces and focus on this gorgeous bottle. Oh my goodness, like it feels so nice in the hand, right? It's just like, look at this shape. That's, oh, it's baby. amazing. It's, it's very beautiful, this brown metallic look all mm. over the package and the perfume. Mm -hmm. And as a contrast, the yellow fluid inside. Juice. Juice, juice, the yellow juice inside. Um, and at the bottle, they are also, I don't know how to, how to Different, tell. like, um, not texture necessarily, but like shape. It's also, it's from maybe a re relief, I don't know how to call it. I mean, it's so beautiful, but enough about the outside. Let's talk about how it smells. About the inside? Yeah, about okay. the juice. <laughs> about the juice. Let's, so, let's get juice. juicy. Okay, we, we're gonna take... Look what I prepared. Amber Oud. Right. Tobacco edition, keep in uh, mind. Tobacco edition. Yeah, so, editions. let's go. Can you tell us something about the ingredients sure, right here? Sure. So, in here we have different spices. We have tobacco, obviously, as the main note in there. But it's... Uh, oh my... Tobacco. <laughs> oh my Sweet tobacco. kind of tobacco because of vanilla in there, which is one of the strongest notes in my personal opinion. Do you smell vanilla? No, I don't smell vanilla, but okay. I smell cinnamon. Okay, interesting, because I'm quite sensitive to cinnamon. That's not one of my favorite notes. And I don't really get a lot of cinnamon out of it, which is no? a good thing for me. No, for me, it's wet, no. candied. <laughs> Tobacco. Yeah, that yeah is really. Super okay. Sweet. In my opinion, it's it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. It's more cinnamon, a little bit spicy maybe, mm -hmm. and it, it it it's really really sweet. I, mm -hmm. I think the sweetness in this one is a little bit overwhelming maybe, Ooh. but still very interesting and a good balance with 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 spices. There are also woods. There, also there is woods? a hint okay. of incense there. There are some dry fruits. So there is a lot of, that is going on in there. But for me, this is definitely like a beautiful love affair between tobacco and vanilla. Yeah? And uh, yeah. Sounds great. Do you know what it reminds me of? What does it remind if you of? You guys love that Tom Ford perfume. I'm not sure about the name, but something like tobacco vanilla that a lot of people go crazy about. In my opinion, this is a smoother and uh, more long lasting version of that perfume. I don't really like to compare fragrances, but it really reminded me of that one and I have never understood the hype around tobacco vanilla. Mm -hmm. But now I sort of understand it just because uh, this one smells so appealing to me and uh, my boyfriend wears it sometimes. Like, I mean, it's right. still new in my collection, but he applies it a lot and I wore it a few times to work and I just enjoyed myself so much. So. That's just my take on this one. Do you want to add something? No, I don't think that I have to add something. It's everything right that you said. I really like this perfume. I applied it a lot of times mm -hmm. in the last days and uh, I, I fell in love with it. It's, it's really amazing. 
and we all know that Benny doesn't fall in love with perfumes that easily so if he loves something that just says a lot about perfume and now I smell quite a lot of spices so you were right it's quite spicy I'm always right and sort of wintry too because it's so yeah, warm yeah, and sensual right. and I don't want to tell too much but uh, let me tell you I really enjoy it on my boyfriend like I really enjoy it on him <laughs> That's good. So yeah, but in my opinion it's quite unisex, so it's not like a manly perfume. No, it isn't. It isn't at all. Woman it, it's, it's, it's easily unisex. Rugged. It's absolutely unisex. It, it might be for sure um, challenging at the beginning. Okay. But I think if, if you're wearing it a couple of hours mm -hmm. and you're getting confident with it, oh. it's very... It's, it's a super perfume, so... Yeah, um, very appealing, you yeah. know, like when you wear it, when I smell it, yeah, it's, it's just so like... Mm. Oh. Yeah, well, <laughs> anyway, that's a good one, but we have another one to tell you about. You guys, it's getting better, well, at least uh, just as good as the previous one, because the presentation of this one is just like so pretty as well. Benny is doing a fantastic job, <laughs> you should be like my pre present... Tater, I don't know. For a tater guy. No, it's like no, in no. friends. It's, it's transponder. <laughs> You're a transponder. <laughs> well, okay, no. We are off topic. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, exactly. That's the beautiful, beautiful box. Oh my god, you're doing good. You're doing good. Guys, look at it. Oh, so beautiful. Take I the should... bottle out of it. Oh, okay. So pretty. This bottle is like so amazing and my camera is not because it still focuses on Benny and not on the bottle but you got it, you got it guys, it's pretty, very pretty. When it's my mom saw it, she really... wanted to steal it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's like so no way. And the scent, like she is in love with this perfume yeah. and that's not a surprise because it's powdery all the way and I love powder, my mom loves powder. Do you like powder? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it depends. Okay, it depends. let us know if you like powdery perfumes because if you do, this is something you should check out. This is definitely my favorite between these two but like they are completely different. So we are gonna spray this one too. <laughs> Stop it, okay, you're doing good job but not no. like too much. Okay, wow, that sprayer though. Mm. Like, mm. come on, like, come mm. on, no, no, it can't be that good. Like, when you spray perfume and he, it makes you go like, wow, oh my god, mind blowing, I need it, I want it. It's just like, that's this, basically, and uh, it's called, I'm not sure if I even told you how it's called, I can't pronounce the name, so the name is going to be on the screen, but Benny, tell us how it smells before I ramble too much. Oh, okay, uh, so it's... It's very, really powdery. It's also sweet, but not such a big sweetness like in uh, the tobacco edition. Mm -hmm. um, it's pleasant, maybe a little bit soapy, clean, I'm not sure, but I like it. You like it? Yeah, I really like okay, it. Okay, I love it, but that's not the point. The point is, this perfume is very sweet, just like Benny said, but in here we have rose that is sugary, that is syrupy, that is very powdery because it has like a powder teletrop on it which is very very lipsticky note. We have amaretto in here which is very oh, really? sweet uh, alcohol. We also have ylang ylang which is a tropical flower and then we have tonka, amber and suede. So it's on the oriental side and oh my god you guys it just smells like uh, a millionaire, like person who really knows a lot about fashion, who has style and who has a lot of money and wants to have best of the best. That's how it smells to me, so I'm very honored to have this perfume and I just love it a lot. Like I can't tell you enough good things about it. I think this is something that should be checked out by people who love powdery perfumes, but also something that smells seamless, classy, timeless. If you're looking for a signature scent, like, I mean, come on, check it out. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, well, this is though a um, feminine perfume. Really? Yep, but you like it, right? Yeah, you I like it. it. I think I would wear it too, mm -hmm. um, but 
For, for me it's very complex, so, so okay. I can't really define what ingredients are inside, it's for me too, too, too much mixed up okay. maybe, so um, for, for, for not such profis or professional people like Jana or mm -hmm. other people outside there, it's, it's hard to think about it, but I, I really appreciate it, it's, it's a pleasant, great perfume mm -hmm. that I would love to wear even if it's a feminine, women, a feminine yeah. perfume. Well, right. Well, not my opinion. It's more unisex, maybe. But you know, every nose is different, so. Right. You're absolutely right. And I wanted to say that I told you guys that it's a signature type of a scent just because it is so wearable and it smells rich and very expensive, but it doesn't make it. Uh, a special type for occasion perfume. Sure, it's very very um, complex as mm -hmm. you told, but it's something that you can absolutely rock on the everyday basis and it will make you feel so special and that's what I appreciate and love the most about it. So yeah, these two perfumes, they are like absolutely mind-blowing and if I could compare um, the tobacco edition of Amber Oud to Tobacco Vanilla by Tom Ford, I can't compare this one to any other perfume out there. So I'm just saying. Okay guys, and that completes this video, which we hope you enjoyed watching. And please let us know which of these two perfumes you are excited about now, but I really recommend you to check out both, right? Yeah, right. And the link to the official website of El Hermain you'll find down below in the description box, as well as other helpful information, so check it out. And we are looking forward to chat with you in the comments, and I want to thank you for coming once again on my channel. You're welcome. Yeah, right. And thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments what you want to see from us next. And of course, if you have any experience with this brand or these perfumes, let us know all of that in the comments. And that's all for today. It's not all. Okay. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. I forgot about the most important to thing. the channel. And if, I don't ring know. Ring the bell. Ring the bell. Ring it's the very bell. important. Ring that bell. And that and, completes this video. And that completes this video. Yeah. So. Thank you and bye! Bye guys! Ja, du musst den Rap machen jetzt. Ich kann nicht. Ah, du rimmst schon auf, gell? Ja! Oh Gott, warum nein? Futurama. Sincer. Dum dum. Du dum dum dum. Ich kann nicht. Ja, irgendwie war das überhaupt nicht. Dum 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 dum